gonna be a different year This is not the place for fear I've got a job to do Good morning boys and girls and happy Monday. Today is December 14th, 2020. I apologize that I could not be with you today. As I shared with you guys on Friday, um, I have a doctor's appointment this morning, so I wish I could be here with you guys, um, but I have full confidence that you guys will be able to go ahead and do today's lesson just by watching the video. So let me take you through um, today's lesson and let's take a look at what's on the blog. You'll see today that um, Today is the informational mini quiz part one, titled Pit Ponies. What we're doing this week is um, we're kind of preparing for unit two. What I want to do is, before we start learning about informational texts, is I want to get a feeling for where you guys are at already with your ability to analyze and evaluate informational texts. So what I've done is I've taken some uh, test passages from old state tests and I put them up there with the kinds of questions that occur on the state tests. And I'm going to have you guys do them as mini quizzes or kind of practice tests. So I can just get a feel for what you guys already know about informational texts going into Unit 2. Alright, so here's what the morning message says to you. It says, Good morning, Rebels. Today we'll turn our focus to informational texts. And we will take a short mini quiz to assess where your skills are at regarding informational texts. All right, and I'm going to scroll right here. So your homework, what you need to do today, basically your homework or your classwork, is you have to finish the informational text mini quiz part one, which is called Pit Ponies. Here's the agenda for your week so you can kind of see what we're going to be doing. All right. On Monday, that's today, you guys are going to complete part one. That's Pit Ponies. Tomorrow, too, I will be back with you guys um, live. And we're going to be working on the second part. And that one is called Ring of Horses. Wednesday will be a support day like it always is. So if you guys are struggling with any of the first two parts, you'll be able to get on and ask me questions. Thursday is part three. Um, of our mini quiz and this one is called the sea turtles built in compass those titles are the titles of the passages that you guys are going to be reading <clears throat> and then on friday friday is actually a christmas celebration uh at least that's what would have been planned for in person we would have had our christmas party uh for you guys at home i've put up just a little bit of a, a fun christmas activity that you guys will be able to do on friday okay so Let's scroll down here. You'll see, of course, the table of contents for your interactive notebook. We can scroll right through it. We don't need this today. All right, and here you can see your activities. And here it is all laid out for you again, each part, part one, part two, part three. And today we're gonna focus just on part one. So here are your directions. They say this. One, you're gonna go to the Google Classroom and you have to open up your quiz under the classwork tab. You guys are used to that by now. All right? Read the passage and you're going to answer the multiple choice questions that follow. All right? I'm going to take you guys over to that test or that quiz so you guys can see it. Um, but first, here are some tips for you guys to make sure you can do your best. One, read closely. And that means to really read slowly. Take your time when you're reading it. Um, there's no rush. Regular classes, it's a full hour long. Um, this assignment is not going to take you a full hour to do. So take your time and read closely. If something doesn't make sense to you, go back and step two says reread it. Right? It's okay to read and reread the passage multiple times. In fact, I would encourage you guys to um, read this passage multiple times. Three says work carefully all right please don't just work quickly to get it done so you can hit submit all right work carefully um my main goal here is to really kind of just see where you're at see where your strengths are see where your weaknesses are um as we dive into our study of informational texts okay four take your time 
I've already said that. That's a no-brainer. Take your time. Five, check your answers. Uh, make sure you go back and one, make sure that all of your answers, you've selected an answer for each one. Um, don't submit it where you maybe have skipped a question and you intended to come back to it, um, but you forgot to select an answer. Make sure that you've answered each question. Uh, this next bullet, go back in the text. Uh, with every single question, go back into the text. So not only just read it, don't just read it and then answer the questions. Read it, and then as you read the question, and you read your answer choices, go back into the passage, go back in and look for your answers. Most of the answers will be right in the text. Some of it will be stated explicitly right in the text. Some others will be implicit, meaning you have to make some inferences um, based off of what you're reading. But all of the answers, everything, it comes right out of the passage. So go back in. Um, my second last tip here says highlight evidence. Now, of course, this is quite hard to do on the computer. Um, so if you were in person, this would be a much easier um, kind of tip to follow. So um, if there is a way for you to highlight on the computer, that would be great. Um, if you have a printer, you could always print out the passages and then you could have a paper copy so you guys could mark them up. And then the last tip says to preview the questions. So this is kind of what I was saying before, where you could read the passage, then read all of your questions. You kind of preview the questions. Before you even try to answer them, you read through all of the questions. Then you go back and you reread the passage. And what you'll notice is those answers will start to jump out at you if you've previewed the questions. All right, right now I'm gonna take us over to the Google Classroom and I'm just going to show you um, what this quiz will look like. Okay, under the Classworks tab, here's the Classworks tab. I open it up, I scroll down. Now this is gonna be under Unit 2 Assignments. Um, while we're not officially starting Unit 2, these are part of our Unit 2 Assignments. You can see I've already planned out several of your assignments here. So you're looking for Informational Texts Mini Quiz Part 1. I'm gonna click on it and open it up. The directions say this. Read the poem, and that's what Pit Ponies is, is it's a poem. Read the poem, and then answer the questions by selecting the best choice. So, I'm gonna go ahead, open the quiz, and here it is. And what you see behind me, I can zoom in a little bit, is here you see the passage. This is Pit Ponies by Leslie Norris. Um, and right here, it has a picture along with it, and you guys would go ahead, and here is the passage, the poem. You would read the poem, and then below it, there are a total of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five questions. So there's not a lot of questions. Each passage only has like five to seven questions, all right? And so you once you've read the passage, you'll go down here, and you can see here, here are the passage um, questions. And the questions you're gonna notice, they're in a box like this, and I'll read this first one. It says, why are the ponies scared in line three? Now it says the same thing here as it does right here. So it doesn't matter whether you read it from here or you read it from here. And then here are your four answer choices, A, B, C, and D. So you would read them, and then you would have to select your answer down here. So if you thought the answer was A, you would just have to select the A option down here. You can't do anything here in the box, okay? This is just a picture of the question. All right, and notice the question itself. Why are the ponies scared in line three? I'm gonna have to go back up into the passage. I'm gonna have to go back up, and here's the deal. I can't just read line three. Line three says, which scares them. I'm gonna to have to read the lines in front of it and the lines after it. I'm gonna to have to make some inferences um, based off of the entire passage and then select the best choice. All right, you're gonna go through all five questions just like that. Don't forget, hit submit when you guys are done. Um, and that's it. So that's what you guys are going to do for today's lesson. 
Um, I will be back live with you guys tomorrow on Tuesday. Um, and Tuesday is going to be very similar today, and so will Thursday. Because total, you guys are going to do a total of three passages in all. So, guys, good luck today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on Tuesday um, when I am back. All right, you guys have a good one. Bye-bye.